Five. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to History Through Canadian Numismatics. I'm your host, uh, the Numismaniac, and I have a special guest that we've started off with today, Dale from Coin World UK. There we go. UK. Oh. Hey, Evil Arch. Hey, Robert Mins. How's it going, my friend? And uh, 1911 to 1915. And if anybody else would like to come up with the panel, we've got a, a room for a few extras. It'd be wonderful to have you. We're going to have a little bit of perspective from the UK, uh, comparing the coinage from uh, 1910 through 1914, and you'll be able to see a few of the differences. And like our previous uh, shows, uh, those that are participating, the ones that give the uh, best answers uh, uh, or best um, sharing of information on history will be selected by their peers as a winner of a coin, which I will randomly pick out of a bucket list uh, that I happen to have here. The, and we'll award you for your participation. That's really, really cool. Um, I got, I can see on there now and um, it's going to make sure that there we go. There we go. So yeah, it's cool. I'm ready. I think we went to, up to 2000 or 1909, the last one. I don't think we hit into 1910. No, so, we, no, no big deal. We'll go 1910 to 1914, regardless. It's it's getting into the First World War, and, okay. uh, and then we can go th through uh, the other ones. So, uh, yeah, uh, night. Let's talk a little bit about our wonderful 1910, and uh, get get a little bit of perspective. I'm going to swing it over, and I'm just going to switch cams here, and make okay. a solo right there, and you can see. Are wonderful. Make sure that's all straight here. One of these days, I'll get it so it's a little more professional looking here. Everybody see that? <laughs> okay. Mine's pathetic looking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have a, a variety of different coins we're going to look at uh, this uh, uh, this time around, and this particular one we're looking at the Canadian one cent from 1910, and. Uh, thing to note about this coin of course uh this was the last year that we had king edward the seventh on the throne before he pa is passing and uh oh my goodness it's gotten very dark here we go light there we go and uh, as you can see this one's this one isn't in the greatest shape but it, the, the lettering's fairly good but the one thing that you always go for is you take take a look at the band around the crown to see what the wear is like uh, the mustache around the ears, and you can pretty well assess the approximate grade for for one of these coins. Uh, keeping in mind that uh, this this coin is, again was was actually minted in Ottawa, uh, but it was uh, minted by a branch of the uh, of the British Mint, uh, which uh, opened up in Ottawa back in 1908, which is uh, the beginning of our our minting here in Canada and the other one of the now that, those are very do you have any do you have any of the uh, this year's the 19 uh, the night I do we, I do 19, have the, the 1910s I do yep yeah. King Edward the 10th yeah. Uh, yeah sorry yeah <laughs> sorry King Edward the uh, seventh yeah I'm just gonna get yeah, some you, you have one of those okay let's let's take a quick look at yours too Okay, I'm going to have to turn the camera around, okay? So, give me a second. Oh, that's fine. I'm doing the same thing. Let me just turn the camera around to reverse facing. So, here we go. Oh, it's interesting. So, he doesn't have the crown on. He doesn't have the crown on. He's no. Um, and uh, the interesting fact about these, uh, let me just get uh, my information off my computer a second.
Hang on a sec, this is just, I have to reload this again. There we go, that should work now. Well, it's just doing its thing. Um, as you can I, tell, I noticed, that, I noticed the effigy is, is facing right, which is the yep, same, same as ours. Yes, it will be. And uh, uh, do, do the British coins also change directions with each monarch? Yep. If you have a look at King George V for 1914. So so this must be something that's consistent with it is being uh, consistent. with the whole Commonwealth. Yeah, it's um, the only time it didn't change is when Edward VIII advocated. Uh, you can get a copy of of Edward VIII, an on and off topic, but it, uh, that's why it's out of sync. Um, but yeah, it's uh, uh, you won't find a British coin with a crown with Edward the with Edward the Seventh on unless it's. Either a Commonwealth coin or a, the Emperor coin, which clearly should say on the front of this coin here, uh, Emperor of India there. So, um, Emperor Aptor India, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. um, you're better at Latin than I am. So, that's what that is. Yeah, I haven't so. studied it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I just guessed. Yeah. Um so it's 1910. So uh, there's no other mints that made it. The British one, I believe. There was no Heaton mint. There was no Kings Norton um, by that time. So it's just literally the London mint. Uh, it's it's interesting. So that's that's your that's your reverse. Yeah. Of course, you can Britannia. see the difference. You see the difference here between the Canadian and the British. Yeah. It's going to be the same size. It and, should be and, around and the obverse. You saw the obverse. Well, the obverse. Yep. We'll get that over there. The obverse, of course. Just Canadian has got the crown, it. and the uh, British does not, which is quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Different. So, of course, they, they're all they're all large coins, though. Yeah. The the the, the, the these should be thirty point eight millimeters uh, across, mm -hmm. and should weigh around about nine point four grams. And they should be bronze, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, that there. I'll leave that there so you don't have to um, we'll see take, what the chat is saying. Uh, Mark, it's not about digging. March 8th, 10th from France. Uh, Raymond de, de La, uh, La awarded pilot's license number 36 Federation. So these guys are coming up with some great stuff right now. 1910, yeah. So Mike, isn't that about digging? Great to see you. Um, so I was just going to get my coins in some kind of perspective order because I just grabbed them out of, <laughs> of um, hibernation. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that about uh, the Frankenstein, uh, that it went back 1910, silent version. They used to call them the what, you're, what you're seeing on the screen here now is the, the 1910 Canadian dime. Uh, oh, of course, it was uh, done, in, done in sterling silver. Um, I didn't need those. I just want to show a coin, if I can find it. There it is. 1912, 1914, 1914. Right, so that is 1910. Right, okay. Okay. Oh, geez, okay good. So these are the wonderful fish scales here that uh, came yes. out with the nickels. Uh, they, they were also silver, and they came out with two different uh, two different uh, types: the rounded leaves, which you're seeing here, and you're seeing. The pointed leaves, you can see how quite pointed the leaves are on this. This, this is a really good example. Is that why it's called the fish scales? Uh, the, yeah, those are the ones that are fish scales. They're virtually, I, I don't I don't understand how anybody ever held on to them because they're so bloody small. It actually, uh, if you've got any arthritis in your hands, it's hard to even hold on to these things. They're so tiny. 
It's like our um, similar to our um, dumb five pences we've got right now. Yeah, very, very, very tiny these. I don't know what's happened to this. I'm not liking you know, this. One of those mixed up, get that mixed up. My um, oh, my computer's gone weird. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Well, it's funny. Yeah. Nick, why don't you come on up, Nick? It would lovely be lovely to have you up here. Oh, Nick, I I was going through my live stream yes uh, today um, because I was making sure everybody got their right winnings um because obviously muscle shell said he won a um a coin and i to, and i thought he obviously i write everything down i didn't see him and nick congratulations on your 2k my friend uh i did actually get into your stream um by the time i and i just fell asleep i was about five minutes in um and i was so tired so i apologize um and of course, uh, it was must have been around about two o'clock, two at quarter past two my time. Um, by the time you, I, you went in, um, what else is it? And uh, yeah, congratulations on your on your two k. You deserve every every inch of support, my friend. Honestly, um, absolutely. Let me just get back up to the chat. I, I just cannot get over some of the, the things. September 21st, 1910, Kingsland Interban Crash killed 41 in Kingsland, Indiana. Uh, oh, wow. Woodrow Wilson and William Taft were president during 1910 of the U.S., of course, yes. Uh, June 22nd, 19... Uh, I, I think that's 1910, not 1019. Uh, Delag Zeppelin Dirigible <laughs> Deutschland makes the first commercial passenger flight from Frederikshafen to Dusseldorf in Germany, the flight takes nine hours. Oh, wow. Well. I bet it's like uh, three times as less than it is today. Let's see. African-American boxer Jack Johnson defeats white Af American boxer James J. Jeffries in a heavyweight boxing match, sparking race riots across the United States. Wow. And Robert Mim oh, says, November 7, 1910, the first air flight for the purpose of delivering commercial freight took place in the U.S. That is very cool. Very, very cool. This, um, this, um, uh, oh, that Boy Scouts is incorporated. That's pretty cool. Oh, in the United it's States. Stuff, yes, yeah. it was. Mother Teresa was born in 1910. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? It's really difficult to. I mean, the other night it was difficult to pick a winner um, with with you, you know, with everybody. Dixon's, how's it going? So yeah, this is the 1909, which you was just showing here. I don't know if you can see me on there, but um, Trying to do that from the side's not working. Did I lose you? Oh, there you are. Bottom on the list. Oh, there we go. So that's the 1909 just there. There we go. Okay. And uh, this is a bit more of a much better... Effigy. Sorry, guys, I don't have a, a scope. So a little bit of Canadian history while we're looking at this. Uh, James Palmer became the first, the premier of Prince Edward Island, replacing F.L. Hazard. Uh, in Nova Scotia, the, the election there, George Henry Murray's Liberals won a second consecutive majority. Uh, they built in October of... Uh, in 1910, John Young, the John Young Monument was unveiled, and Robert Gordon became the Prime Minister, replacing Sir Wilfrid Laurier. 
Uh, James Fleming became the Premier of New Brunswick, replacing John Hazen. And the Association of Universities and Colleges of Canada was founded. And the Dominion Parks branch was established, which is actually today's Parks Canada, which anybody in Canada would be very much familiar with. I was not aware that David Niven was born in 1910. That is interesting. He's one of my favorite actors. And uh, the uh, Ottawa Senators win Stanley Cup. First take off from a ship, yep. That's when the, the runways were above the ship's... Uh, what is it? I can't remember what it's called. Flatbed. They were like flatbed runways or something they were called. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, oh. Okay, nineteen oh two, nineteen eighty four, nineteen eighty five, nineteen eighty nine. Okay, don't need them ones. Um. April 21st, 2010, Mark Twain. Oh, wow. Um, oh, he, I had no idea he died in 1910. Do you know what? I'm looking for a 1911 coin and I can't find any. I don't know where my 1911s are, are rolled off to. There, we got one here. It's got a few marks in her, but... Considering it's what 110 years old, not too bad. I feel like 110 years old. <laughs> yeah, there are times I do too. <laughs> I doubt that. I see you run mar marathons. Come on. Been a long time since I've run marathons. <laughs> uh, I, I was a long distance runner in the uh, mid 1970s, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, ran three three times around the island of Cyprus. That's another okay. story. Oh, I love honey. checking the tentacles and the leaves on these things. See, that's where you got more patience than me, I think. Um, okay, 19. And of course, as you can see, the, the obverse, the effigy is reversed yeah. now. And you can tell I'm on this one. What that crown is called. I think that's the G I think that's the coronation crown. Uh, yeah, King, we, Ed we, we, King Edward the Fourth, Fifth. We we I always can't... just refer to them as like the King's crown and the Queen's crown. But the thing is, I discovered that Queen Elizabeth actually wore the King's crown at one time. Yeah, it was. Um. I believe it's King. Is it King James? Or it's either King James the Fourth crown, which was the very first crown. I think it was King James's, not Mary Quick Queen of Scots crown. Um, James, who I think it was his son, um, who was coronated with the crown. It's been the same crown ever since. And uh, a fun fact: when King. Um, King George, the, I think it was King George the Fifth, got crowned, or it could be Edward the Seventh. They had it round the wrong way, um, I believe. Anyway, that's just in the same time zone as what we're doing now. So, um, but it's worth checking out uh, if I got it wrong. Um, but I know they had it. The Archbishop of Canterbury, when he went to uh, obviously did a coronation, uh, the actual. Seeing was around the wrong way when they put it on his head. Oh, is that right? Yeah. It was either Edward the Seventh or King George the Fifth. I'm not sure which one it was. It was one of those two, but it's or King George the Sixth. Uh, well, sorry, one of. Those. Um, but when you when you've done your elevens, nineteen fourteen into the war to end all wars.
Now, can uh, LNW, you, you mentioned 1914, but what, what countries were involved just in ni- for starting in 1914? Well, it was Belgium and Germany, wasn't it? And France and Russia. And the British Commonwealth. Yeah, uh, but it was a kind of a funny war because when the Bosnian... Um, Arch, Archduke and, Franz Ferdinand. Yeah, he, when he got a at him and his wife. Yes, that basically kicked the the um, the war off because everybody sort of blamed each other, and everybody had part eyes with everyone. So it was all like, oh, if you beat my brother up, I'll beat your brother up. If you beat my brother up, I'll beat your. That's mm-hmm. how all the countries got involved, I believe. That that was a hard one because uh, you know uh, Kaiser Wilhelm was was uh you know that his his grandmother was queen victoria for pete's sake yes that's right it was a it was a war of five five kaisers yeah i mean this was a fa- this was a family war the, I mean, <laughs> and everybody was interrelated and you know a lot of people don't realize that because of all this the uh the royal family changed their name from sax coburg to windsor and uh also um yeah uh, and prince philip changed his name from his german his turkish name um to uh mountbatten that's right because he, he actually uh, he actually resided with lord mountbatten and yeah. his family yeah i love history i love talking history oh oh by all means it's it's wonderful <laughs> Yeah, that 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 Robert is awesome. Robert Crapper, British plumber, was born in 1836, famous for toilet products. Died on January 27, 1910. Yeah, that famous Crapper. Um, yeah, but well, it's actually his wife. Come up, his wife was the one uh, who actually designed the bowl. In fact, um, he just sort of took over the patency. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What if he died on the crapper? Well, maybe his <laughs> wife did. I don't know. Well, you're on 1912 now. Cool. I've been yeah, looking forward to getting 1912. These. Take a look at the uh, the reverse on this one. Okay, and, and uh, this, is, this is a Canadian set. You got you have any 1912 British? Oh, yes, I do. I've been waiting for you to get onto these because obviously it's one of my uh known topics, which is the Titanic. Okay, and uh, yeah. and what I do have here is um, first off, I'll show you the half penny, and there's the half penny there. I do have more. I, just, I, I'll bring work with what I have. Um, I do have more. So, so here's the half penny. Um, oh, I just lost you again. How did I do that? There's dying bag. Let's get to yeah. There we go. Gotcha. So this is the 1912 half penny. Absolutely awesome. I love this. And what I like about these coins, especially 1912, you never know who held this coin. And it could have been a passenger bought his last beer and went on board the Titanic. That's very true. You know, you never know who bought his wife something or his girlfriend or even whatever. Um, I don't know. And uh, I know you're not going to see us. I'm going to try and take the, the ripples down a bit because these have been in flips for a while. So, um, and I love used coins. They got history to them. Um, so yeah, it's, is it 99 years old? I guess 109 years old. Sorry. Yeah. Looking good for 109. And uh, so it is a 1912. And um, you'd think these are the same pennies. 
This is a 1912 London Mint coin. And we're familiar with the H Mint. And there is the Heat Mint, yes. Yes. Did us a few favors at the beginning. And there is the H. The H would be about here anyway. My light's right on it. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm. And good hey. afternoon, gentlemen. Hello there. How are you doing? Well, just it's, finished it's so my afternoon of training, so I thought I'd come here for more training. <laughs> Excellent. It's so, so yeah. interesting to see the difference, eh? I mean, and then you take a look, take a look, especially the obverse. The obverse really shows a lot of people don't realize the uh, Canadians had the king with a crown and the British didn't. Hmm. Nope. Only Queen Victoria had the, 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 she wore a tiara and her coronation crown um, it for the Jubilee uh, was the ones there. Um, and obviously, the, I can't remember who wore it after that. I don't think King George VII did, King George V, King George VI. don't think mm -hmm. he ever did. He wore it on Indian coins and other Commonwealth country coins. Um, and I think the next, I don't think, unless it's a sovereign, Queen Elizabeth has not worn, she's only worn the, um, the, the King George, the, King George IV diadem, not the Jubilee yeah, she, crown. She, she initially was trying to honor her father by not having, having a headdress. That's right. Yeah. Because, because he didn't like wearing one. Well, it's too heavy. I mean, they weigh a ton, those things. They must do. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, that's why she wears either the Girls of Great Britain Island tiara or the George IV crown. Um, because, you know, they, what, they must weigh what, about a good six, seven kilos. You know, so, so we are 1913 now. Yeah, each uh, one of them diagnosed with neck problems in their later lives. Yes, exactly. I mean, what's going to be a 70, 70th anniversary on the uh, of Jubilee next year? Should we get another day off? Woot, woot. And we're talking look at 1913. As you can see, there's not a heck of a lot of changes that were made in the coinage no. throughout the years, other than the... the I suppose uh, there may be some kind of liking okay. for eyes if uh, you look really closely. but There, there, there are. Like the density was maybe a lot more or less. Um, Evil Arts, the 25th of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory, Fire in New York kills. Oh my God. Oh, that's interesting. Absolutely. Do either of you gentlemen happen to own a Toyota? No. No. Okay. From now on, if you, somebody pushes the magical button inside a Toyota, it could very well be me that they speak to in the upcoming... Well, it's going to take a few weeks before I'm that guy, but... <laughs> Nineteen thirteen. Now we're we're getting so close to the beginnings of World War One. Yeah. And uh, what the world was a lot different back then. Oh, it was. It was um, prehistoric to today. But yeah, there's my. Sure there's enough. My imagine, imagine when you're not used to having having technology. Period. When, when st people start coming out with electric lights or with early phonographs or, or yeah. uh, 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 you know, uh, the early motion pictures. I mean, this, this stuff yeah, is high tech. There you go. So the got, first got, things got, were the lights, right? I mean, yeah. when electric came in, the first thing was the lights. And then after that, I would have thought that they would figure out how to make heat. Electric lamp would have been the first. Like the light, they say lights, yeah, but 
so but this 1913 i'm going to show you something really cool here now and uh this is a one-third farthing and look at the difference i would say it's the same size as well a little bit smaller than a dime us dime today and these are made for Malta. They're minted in London. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, it's, it's, a one third, it's only 288,000 minted of these. It's like, we've got to make this coin for Malta, boys. What are we going to do? Well, let's just take our coin and shrink it the heck down. Hey, that <laughs> sounds like a great idea. No one will have to do any work. Hey, day off. Let's all get drunk. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. exactly uh, that's what they've done. Is just like I reckon they've gone uh, on. They've been watching um, Penny has shrunk the kids. Penny has shrunk the penny. You know. Um, but yeah, that's nineteen twelve. Twenty nineteen twelve now, do we? Nineteen twenty. And the artist said, "I'm getting going to get credit again and not have to draw." I like it. <laughs> but yeah, I I, I, I got I got um, eighteen eighty seven. Uh, I just need one more of these coins to complete the uh, whole four. It's four. It's four coins. They've only made one coin uh, per year, and uh, well, the one third five. It's four of the monarchs who had them. So I just need one more. It's quite expensive to get. I can imagine. Um, Very yeah, I've got three of them so far. I just need, I just wait for one, one more to come up. So you can tell so them playing around with American money. I, I keep doing this now. <laughs> yeah, it, that, 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 is that exactly the size of a dime or slightly smaller? I think it's slightly smaller than a dime. I think I've got a dime here somewhere. Um, give me one second. I know I've got one here. It's funny you talk about you? handling American change. I get screwed by that all the time <laughs> i always turn them the wrong way <laughs> okay I'll, the, the, this will show you that you see the difference between and uh, the nickel and the dime yeah it's I mean, slightly smaller than that those really. fish I, scales I are so small oh patrick can we do something for a moment you and me just now let's just do something you and i can we I have what an idea like? I want you to try. Okay, here we go. Now, let me just think what's the best way to do this. Okay, now you're using OBS there, and somewhere on your OBS you're going to see controls, and one of those things says start virtual camera. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Little button says, okay, I, I want you to, to click on that and start virtual camera. I just then, did. I want I want you to open Streamyards in the camera and mic setup where you go into the cog there, and I want you to open up just the video part. I'm opening it up with you, so we're going to click on camera, and then uh, the camera list will be below. Oh wait a minute! Okay, there. Camera uh, mm -hmm. settings. You got to in it's in the settings first. Yeah, you'll need to get into the settings. And then in the settings, you've got camera, audio, and green screen. So click on camera. And then there's a drop down there. And the drop downs in one of them is going to be the OBS virtual camera. Do you see that one? No, it says, back, it says front and back camera. Oh, you're using your phone. Yes. Poo. Never mind. Why aren't you using your computer? Uh, He's using because, it for his microphone, his microscope, I guess. That's right. I'm using it for my. Microscope. I gotta drive out there. That's just it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to drive out there. <laughs> it's actually a really short flight if you can get it reasonably. I'm very, very close to Abbotsford Air Airport. How, how you're in? How close to the Muni? Maybe I can get uh, a flight into the Muni. Well, we don't. We. Of the the municipal's downtown, and it's not used anymore. Well, things land That's there, still, don't they? No, no, no it's closed. Stuff? They're 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 developing it for low rentals. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, whatever. No, it's, it's all gone. 
So the closest you've got is the international. Yeah, the Duke. Yeah, the Duke. Well, what part of Duke. Edmonton are you in? Are you in the south? If you're in the I, south, I'm then right the Duke's no to, problem. I'm right next door to the Enoch uh, uh, Reserve, which is that in West Edmonton. Me. That's just down the oh, road, isn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I lived on the corner of Stony Plain in 162, 162 in Stony Plain. So right behind the sub shop. There's the oh. Mr. Sub right there on the corner of 162 and Stony Plain, if it's still there. Okay. Right down this road from the CI, the Continental Inn. Ah. Oh. I don't know where that was. Okay. Yeah, I used to live right there. We need to get you on your computer, gold, darn it. Nimus Maniac, yes. Cafe's Corner is asking you, uh, need your address. Oh, yeah, I'll... T um... How will I do this? Okay, she can use my email here. All righty, 1914s. Oh, Jack Ruby, American mobster, killer of Lee Hobby Arms. Our Oswald died in 67, March 25. He was born in 1911. His parents obviously didn't treat him right. Okay, this is going to be an up-to-date coins, but they're relevant to the date. In question. You have an, you have a, an up-to-date coin question, you say? No, I have up-to-date coins. For today's topic, or well, date dates anyway, I just need to find one more. But I think it's a little bit behind. Um, nineteen eleven, Boys Life. I actually have a copy of uh, a nineteen forty five copy of Boys Life tucked away. So what did that try to teach you, uh, Boy's Life? Is that, I mean, how would you describe that book? I, I've heard the title, but I don't know even what genre it's, of it, book it's, that it's is. A, it's, a, it's a U.S. scouting publication uh, that uh, promoted, uh, uh, you know, Clean uh, living. promised to do my best, do my duty. Uh, God and the Queen, to keep God the law, the, the wolf come back, and to do a good turn to somebody that's, every day. To, to learn to learn the ten points of the scout law and live by them, you know, the original ten points. <sighs> the nineteen oh nine penny came out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the nineteen oh nine coins came out in nineteen oh nine. It was groundbreaking. Mm. Yeah, Vincent Price was one of my favorite actors. Do you know what, what was the last what was the last film that Vincent Price starred in? Was it a comedy? Uh, a dark one. Oh, dark one. A fish named you Wanda. Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, we need a big screen, our friend. He's got an interesting coin there. I love that one. Kitchener. The First World War. We need you. What did it say you, but I can't see the rest. It, yeah, it does say you. Um, we need you. Hey, you. We need you. It's you. I'm calling you. And that's what <laughs> Uncle Sam is based on. Lord Kitchener. Uh, Uncle Bill. Uncle Sam. <laughs> and First World War, uh, battleships, dreadnoughts. Those are definitely some of my favorite British coins for sure. And oh, those are circulating coins? And what yeah. value? Two pounds. So that's the equivalent of a toonie. Yeah. Oh, and more than, oh, much more than that. 
No, I realize well, they don't. No, no yeah. wait a minute. Two pound. Yeah, because one pound will be the equivalent of a toonie. I'm not talking about straight like we're doing a conversion. I'm just yeah, saying just... there's a one pound coin, there's a two pound coin, we have a dollar coin, we have a two dollar yeah, coin. Ooh, and this is the two dollar cool. or the two pound coin. Look, that really looks awesome, doesn't it? I really that want just, some of those. That, just, that got is that my something attention. You, you can find that still in circulation or no? Yeah, yeah. These are circulated coins. Really? That's that's why are we looking for those octagonal things when we could be looking for these? Um well, they're trenches. Uh, that's machine gun holes. Are these are all trenches. So that's obviously the bomber. Um, and it's just looking down at the uh, at war in the air. Fingers, imagine. War in the air. I love that coin. Yeah, war, war in the, in the air. air. I'm going to remember that. And uh, war in the air. That's a pretty cool one. Yeah. No, you guys got some really good. handsome looking coins. The fact that we're covering that time frame. <laughs> yeah, we'll be screwed yeah. once thought, you guys decide know, to paint. I know, them. I, I know, I have something that that is going to be a modern to 1914. So, um, oh, that's my phone going off. Um, but yeah, these are these are pretty cool. Um, Lord Kitchener, there, absolutely awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, if you decided on a colorized version of those coins, they'd be... Oh, well, they would epic. be magic. Um, yeah. They would be magic. Especially with all the, like, the different, you know, the fields and stuff, you know, all the greenery, then you got the um, the Royal Flying Corps. I remember that time. Um... <laughs> okay, uh, you sold me on that one. That one, that one is a really yeah, nice look. It is, isn't it? Canadians trained a lot of pilots over there. In fact, you know, yep. like that uh, show that we all love, Top Top Gear, that was done at a previously Canadian flying field over in Britain, apparently, if I remember correctly. I honestly don't know. Um, uh, I only watched the old Top Gear, um, the new one. I, I, I can't remember. I, I watched so many episodes of it. It's no, no particular... Um, yeah, their their facility there was uh, a, a base that Canada oh, yeah, maintained yeah, to, tra to train field. pilots. That's right. Yeah, it was. Uh, it still is. Um, it's a test track now for Lotus. Um, uh, but yeah, it's down in um, Guildford somewhere, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's uh, another fact. Um, the the army, what used to be called the army signal call, uh, by me where I used to live, uh, where I live, um, that's where they filmed Battle of Britain from. Uh, that was pretty cool. But that was obviously way before I was born. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Interesting little bit of history there. So yeah, it's a. Uh... So did you like that coin? Did you? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you distracted me very much. That was very nice. Sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. That was cool. I mean, the thing, the, th the things that I could add for 1914 was uh, uh, the Royal Ontario Museum opened. Uh, Margaret C. McDonald's appointed the matron in chief of the Canadian Nursing Services Band and became the first woman in the British Empire to reach the rank of major, which was kind of cool. Yeah, the uh, British Empire is nothing to sneeze at. It's been around a while. Yeah. Uh, the first major discovery of oil in Western Canada was at Turner Valley, right here in Alberta. Oh, wow. Was that oil rig number one? I would believe... That, that would be oil rig number one. That would have we to We have be. coins that... We have some quarters that commemorate that rig number one. Uh, uh, May 20th of 1914, uh, they had the Niagara Falls Peace Conference, where representatives from Argentina, Brazil, Chile, and the United States met for diplomatic negotiations in order to avoid war between the United States and Mexico, as if they needed another one. I'm going to find something for you, Maniac. 
The RMS Empress of Ireland sank in the Gulf of St. Lawrence in 1914, uh, where 1,024 lives were lost. You hear a lot about the Titanic, but you didn't hear much about that one. The Empress of Ireland. Uh, the Hillcrest Mine Disaster in Alberta killed 189 of 235 miners, the worst mining disaster in Canadian history. And, Even now? Yep. yep. Hmm. And in 1914, Ontario election, Sir James Whitney's Conservatives win a fourth consecutive majority. Well, I haven't seen that in a while. Okay. <laughs> nope. Let's uh, spend another six hundred million for nothing. Yeah, we certainly have it to waste. What else would happen there? Oh, the Canadian Machine Gun Corps was formed in nineteen fourteen. The Ratatats. Yeah, it's called the Canadian Autom Automobile Machine Gun Brigade. Automobile? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember them. <laughs> I've seen the French one, <laughs> similar to them. All right. And I very important, in sports, the National Hockey Association's Toronto Hockey Club won their first and only Stanley Cup by defeating the Pacific Coast Hockey Association's Victoria Aristocrats, three games to none. All games were played in Toronto's or, Toronto Arena Gardens. Name is Mayor, yeah, that coin. Yes. Okay, that's going to go into your bag. Wow. Whoa. Just like that, you dog. I have one book. As you can tell, these old books, as you can see, where well, I've used these around so many times. They're obviously made for a coin of a certain size. Yeah. Um, it's to me on my other collection there. I've used that. I've been obviously been playing around with my collection for a very long time. And uh, it's funny. I got my penny book the other day, and they had no ledger in them, so I ended up taking a marker and marking on the actual flips as well. Do you have like a that. Do you have a Kitchener coin? Oh, me? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to look. <laughs> My answer is always going to be no. <laughs> it's got to be you. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me pull out my British my... coins here. Who was it? I was. Uh, I was. I. I got a little bit of money in my uh, PayPal there, so I felt flush, and I got a couple of coins coming to me from your buddy there, uh, Dale's buddy, um, the other fellow. What's his name? Oh, Dean. Dean, yeah. Dean, Dean or Dale. Kyle. You guys are like tit and tat over there. <laughs> Dale and what's that? Wait, what are the two chipmunks? Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Should be chip. You should be Chip. <laughs> But yeah, no, he's a good man. Uh, I got a couple of coming. Just I just want want to have. I want to handle them. I want them in my hands. I thought, you know, spread the love. A couple of people were nice enough to buy some of the Canadian collection off of me, and I just want to float that back. It's nice to have something in the PayPal. So you know, if you want to do a super chat, you actually can. You know, I've got the Kitchener already. You got the Kitchener? Yeah. There you go. No, no. I'll try and find you something else. If I find one of those, because those aircraft, uh, those, they're very, very hard to get hold of. And uh, what I will do, if I find another one, I will. You're on I the list. So, so you have one of these, but you haven't one of these. That's correct. So I'll put that in your. I'll send that to you when I get when you get your silver back. Oh, you're a good man. Um, November 5th, 1912, Woodrow Wilson elected the 28th President of the United States. He defeated sitting President William Howard Taft and former President Teddy Roosevelt, all without a shooting. Good American guys. <laughs> no, one got, no one stormed any capital. It was all reasonable. Yeah. No one was slapped with the backhand of a glove and asked for 
you know, ask for a meeting outside. Oh, demand satisfaction. <laughs> yeah, you you are right though. Nick. Those those uh, those uh, two pound coins are really handsome looking coins. I mean, I yeah, I've been collecting a lot of the fifty p ones, but those two pound ones are sharp. And of course, you know we're you doing our stream. Sorry, go ahead. I think I'll that down. It's okay. I'll, I'll wait for another time and just go for it. Obviously, we're going off topic here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's okay. I'll, I'll talk I'll, I'll, when I'm on my stream tomorrow. I'll talk to you and uh, we'll see what you have and what you don't have. And sure. uh, well, we're having a great time. I mean, we've gone we've gone through five years of Canadian coinage and a lot of history, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Stalin uh, made ed editor in uh, Pravada. Me oh, oh Pravda. editor of Pravda. That's the that's the actual publication. Yeah, that's the uh, Russian. Uh... Oh, great flood affected the dozens of states in the eastern part of the United States. Uh, United States. Do you know what? Between Evil Arch, Conservative, and Robert Mims, they're going at it tonight. They, they are. They are. They are <laughs> hot and heavy with the with the history. I am. That's what I love tonight. seeing. It's going to be a good one. The better. That's going to be a good one. <laughs> the all story. Hmm. Oh, well, Never heard of that pop magazine, but I haven't heard of that many of them probably. Been the all story. story? I'm not sure how what six pences you need, but there's a bag there. <laughs> oh my lord! May thirtieth, nineteen thirteen, the third Indianapolis Five Hundred is won by French native Jules Gru or Goo. Goo. How would you say Goo? I would say goo. G-O-U-X. Goo. Oh, that's a monumental date in history. David Bronze born. February 6, 1912. Lucky girl. The day after my birthday. Ah, Eva. You missed by a day, love. You might have been a nice person. I think it's important that we, uh, you know, don't turn into shills. You know, I know we use a StreamYard product, but we wouldn't want to, you know, Inadvertently advertised for StreamYard, so I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to think of a 50p nineteen fourteen or ten that would revert back to. Oh, I know which one. Hang on a second. I am Maybe. an honest man, not a crook. Not a crook. Where are you? Do you know what? I probably got loads of these, and I just can't find them. Do you ever get that? You know, you've got quite a few of these coins, but you just can't find. The coin. Not when you want to. I've That's got a jar of 67 quarters somewhere. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what I don't have a lot of, it strikes me, is I have 67 pennies. I have the nickels. I don't really have that many dimes, though I do have a few. And I have a few of the quarters, but I've got n almost no 50 cent pieces for that run. It's a wolf really? on the fifty cent. Yeah, I have I have some do some uh, silver dollars too, and I have a couple of sets where they're complete, so I know what I'm missing. But I don't have that many of the like. I don't think I have any. Well, I have to look. I, I have to look in one other place, but I haven't found very many of the fifty cent pieces from sixty seven. Hello, May that. Mia. May's coins. I need your address, please, um, because you won something called my chat. And my email is in my about page, um, so I can send out your your winnings to you. Uh, oh yeah! Hmm. Now of course we get Andrew, the like guy that likes crucifying me in cribbage. <laughs> He's rubbing it in too. He's putting salt in the wound. I'm not happy. He never mentions it. You're always the first to bring it up. 
I don't know, Bubba. He seems like a pretty good sport. He is an absolutely wonderful sport. A good sport. Nothing like a good sport. Just trying to figure out which one. I have to have it for another time because I'm getting sidetracked. March 10, 1913, Harriet Tubman dies at 93. The abolitionist was buried with military honors. That's very cool. November 5th, 1913, Japanese twin sisters, Umino Sumiyama and Komi Kadoma, are born. Today, they are the Guinness world record holders of oldest living twins. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, Robert, he he absolutely kicked my derriere big time. No, no, he didn't. He did double skunk me a couple days ago. Not today. But I he beat me four straight. I'm not happy. I did not get cards. The go, God doesn't like me. Goes in there now. Thank you, sir. That's awesome. Rosa Parks was born February 4th, 1913. Oh, Rosa Parks. That is a famous name. Yeah, he's just rubbing like it in. Parks like me, you know, Taz as it is. Stick up for yourself. <laughs> we'd be a progressive. Absolute more. Are you getting on, Captain? Oh, hey. Awesome. Like I say, it's uh, it's it's fun going through the coins and uh, oh, it reflecting it reflecting on you know what these things have gone through, the hands they've yeah. passed through. See, that's just another one I don't have I need and it's going to cost me like 30 or 40 or 50 bucks or more. That yeah, I've they sent. add up, you know, a little bit at a time, you'll get them. It just takes time, that's all. Well, once I can get to a store that's worthwhile, the store that I've got is like a hobby shop. There's no way I'm going to get anything good like this. Well, you know, you can get them online through uh, through West Edmonton Coin and Stamp. They'll ship it to you. Yeah, I can definitely say that's a site I've been on thanks to you. Yeah, it's oh. uh, really. And if you talk to Jack, uh, who's the owner, just let him know that uh, you know you you and I uh, work together with our collections. He'll he'll certainly help you as much as possible. He's he's really fair. Well, fair enough. I'll have to say hijack. Now look, look flip that back oh, over. Now, now like, you know what hijack. that looked like? <laughs> that looked like um a thing. I hate to say. I can't tell you what that what that. The, hmm. Didn't that Hello, look like a thingy? Jack. Hello, Jack. <laughs> that looked like a thingy. I don't know how to say the word on your stream, but if you look at the top of that crown, it looked like a thingy. <laughs> yeah, but on the top of the crown, it looked like a thingy? What? A man's part. Now i got to look at it. He's on, is he on about the fleur de lis? Is that what he's right, talking right, about? Right at the very top of the crown. Oh, you, it's not focused for us there yet. There. 1914, a third major baseball league. It's zoomed league right in there. It just like a gets a team. Pecker coming out of the crown. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it looks oh, like. Oh, maybe to you it does. Okay, it's just me. <laughs> Yeah, a beautiful actually, coin, regardless. It, that's actually a, um, what the crown represents. Is that the the um, it's a the cross? Is that God is the absolute? So when you wear the crown, obviously you're transferring whatever it is to the God. Then it goes to the uh, Archbishop of Canterbury, then to the Queen or King, and that's a chain of command, basically. So. Um, that's why the little cross is there, not because represent obviously 
the crucifix. Mm-hmm. It's just um, God is absolute divine r- ruler. Um, okay, folks, it is now that time. No, it is, and uh, no I'm going to step back. I'm not choosing the winner. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not amongst choosing you all, I'd like to to get some feedback into who you think deserves a coin today. I've been I've been looking at the chat here. Oh, hang on a minute. I've been looking at the chat honestly here. So on my phone here. Yes. So I haven't missed, and uh, I. Okay, mayor's coins. I will, I will, I will send out your, your, your winnings from last month, this month, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult between. Um, it's, it's going to be difficult, but it can be done. I'm scrolling back just to see how this went, and boy, it's there's really so much difficult. great input here. This is just nutty. This was just, a short course in history, boys and girls. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Kathy calls you num num. Thank you, Mayor's Coins. I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Did you see a co- did you see a, vi- a live video at the beach the other day? Sandman coins and collectibles. I was watching your video before Numus Maniac come online and I thought, oh hello. <laughs> I got off in his watching his video. <laughs> Yeah, she was on the pier the other week. Yeah, great, a great time. Spending time enjoying the last bit of sun before the winter. Mind you, I'm yeah. talking. We've had snow already. Have you already? Oh, well, up and towards trail, they they got a quite a blizzard. Okay, um, I think that's a bit noble of of uh, Robert Mims, but he's letting um, Evil Arch conservative. Um, I, I, I would go with uh, what Robert Min said with Evil Arch Evil Conservative. Arch Conservative? Yeah. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, you know what? He's, he's put some really good input in there, too. And Robert, of course, as today? always, you, you have really good stuff. So here it is. Oh, oh, that's right. We have to reach into the bucket and find out. Ooh, Mother's Day is, established. Yeah, is, a, is a good one. Mother's Day is established in 1914 in the United States now. That is... <gasps> what is it? Well, what have we got here? That's what I was thinking Ooh. as you pulled it out. That's, <laughs> why are that's, you Why are you big that, screen? That, that, that here. That's the other thing I was thinking. It's a 2012 Stanley Cup. Oh, oh stand up down, but never mind. Look up the Stanley. That's a nice coin, that is. So he gets a t- the 2012 Stanley Cup. Lady, lady. Lady? <laughs> Lady. Evil art conservative is a lady. Lady. Well, well, well. <laughs> okay, at Evil Arch Conservative, just email me your your address, and I'll get that out to you. That's excellent. Looney color. That's an excellent coin. That is very nice coin. Wonderful. Where is Evil Arch? Down in the States somewhere? I don't know. Where are you located, Evil Arch? Many U.S. Many, many US listeners? He's a conservative, so he could be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've posted out to Evil Arch Conservative. I've got to I this guarantee Evil Arch sure. Conservative I, I can't remember the in Ontario. State. <laughs> no, I have someone in my own household that hits me with purse. Oh yeah, it's quite regular as well. Don't miss yeah, it. <laughs> too much so. <laughs> I never forget that day, George. <laughs> what did George say? Oh, I've hit me for five. Bang! <laughs> 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 it was just no, no thinking of bang. So I said five dollars tip, bang. <laughs> yeah, you saw you saw in, my email the, address there, Evil Arch Conservative. It's my the one I use for for any anything on here. It's 
Redcoat7121 at yahoo.com. Oh, it's an interesting giveaway it. method you've got there. Did you uh, evaluate how that works for Handy Andy and then decide to do a sort of a reach into the bucket kind of thing? Or had you ever seen that? Because he does something very similar where he reaches into a, a bucket and pulls out flips that are already ready to go. Yeah, well, well, I, I didn't I actually didn't put one and one together, but I guess it is similar to Handy Andy's. But uh, I like it because I can't. They're all the same. They all feel the same. So. Uh, whatever you, you know, it's fair. Whatever you pick up, it's what they get. So, I just have so many different odd things. I was thinking, you know, that would be one way to like mm -hmm. somehow decide without deciding what you know what kind of things you could give away as prizes. Because I have some weird things I know nothing about, and I have you know obviously the Canadian stuff, blah blah blah. But I have some really weird stuff that would not be fun to give away too. But it it would be more fun to do it that way in a grab bag way. That's mm -hmm. neat. I like that. Hey, big country. Know. Big country. This one I haven't seen for a while. Big country. In a big country, dreams stay with you. Evil Arts Conservatives got my posts. That's good news. Um, something a lot of other people's got theirs. Good. Um, good. George has already got his. He, he wasn't too sure why he won it. <laughs> <laughs> big country was my savior, by the way. He actually got me a red book that I had larger font. So I could actually read the bloody thing. It's, you know, a lot of these books comes with like size one half font. You have to use squinting to try to read it. Yeah, I, 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 I do have coin books, but I prefer to do it my own way. You know, through rather than going, oh, this is this coin. I like to do it through Monarch, if you know what I mean. So I got a whole one together. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I got every den denomination with one monarch rather than going, oh, this is the penny. This is um, this coin now. Then you've got, like, loads of different books when you can have, have one monarch in one line, if that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. there's not very monarchs that have very long reigns. So there's no point in having the same size book um, for... 10 coins maybe <laughs> if that makes sense mm -hmm. um but yeah it's like here you know, it's like, there's be five p ones so that's obviously going to be 1968 and 10, whenever so it's the large ones yeah we we do have we do have books like that here it's just uh I, I tend to lean towards the ones that are, are more like the dance go, like the, the, the lighthouse ones, only because I'm lazy. I like I like all the information already there, yeah. you know, so I can put it in the slot. And I uh, I got my own book. Where's my lightning stamp with three coin? I'll start with that in it. So yeah, I got like these. This is my two pound coin uh, my two pence coin book. But I also, when I was a kid, I used to write out my own books, my own coin information books. So here's my two pence coin collection. That goes all the way back from start to finish. Mm -hmm. um, it's all the 20 Ps. Twenty pence is and that one there, this 1986 coin here is the only coin that is a proof set coin so if you collect the whole set of these <laughs> you'll have one missing so but the funny funny thing was going back a few years ago um someone must have broken broken open a 1986 set and he goes oh, i was a chain i knew exactly what coin that was and i thought thank you very much thank you very much and uh, he must have thought it might have been a territory coin Thinking is giving me something foreign, but it's a 1986 coin. So, um, I mean, it sticks out, it sticks out with mm -hmm. sort of firm. You can tell, buddy. You know, if I had that many peas, I'd never get out of the water closet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got the undated coin here, the undated 20, 20 pence. This is actually quite interesting. If I, I'll switch myself around again just quickly and I'll show you the difference now. Um, <laughs> there we go. 
Yeah, I'm still a novice there, uh, Big Country. I'm 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 learning this, the the program. All right. There's only two hundred and fifty thousand is made, by the way. Are are you are you putting those all in Numista or or in spreadsheets at all? No. <laughs> no. So you so you have no idea how much the value of your collection is. I don't really want to scare Zoe. <laughs> well, no, you hide that from Zoe. <laughs> I don't let my wife see how much mine is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, um, let's just start from the beginning. Right. So this is the internet really one. That's Jody version. Make them big, Captain. There we go. If you oh, make... oh, that didn't work. Oh, there, <laughs> there you go. There we go. You put me on mute. So here is the the Tudor Rose coin, which is two thousand eight. And what you got to watch here, people have this effigy. Yeah, and take a picture of this reverse. Okay, so when you go and buy it, you end up with a two thousand eight. 20p okay both got dates on okay that's that's new mister you're talking about no this is this is this is me it's, it's on ebay and things like that so oh, oh okay okay gotcha so they people will try and con people so they would take this um reverse yeah because it's a large head version okay and then take this reverse yeah, and when you are actually ask a seller to send a photograph, a mirror photograph, yeah, they won't do it. So, as you can see, it's got it would have two thousand at the bottom, and then on the Tudor rows, it'll have two thousand at them on the reverse. Oh, that's a scam! So, this is the undated twenty p. So, when you turn it round, has no date. Mm -hmm. so this is a mule coin and um the date should be here so this has got this reverse on it when you turn it around it's got the the wrong obverse see that um, if i get the <coughs> I'll tell I'll tell you a, a quick story here, Big Country. My, my my wife ran out of cigarettes once, and I neglected <laughs> to lock my cabinet. And she knew she knew I had coins in there, and she discovered my uh, toonies, and she got enough for a couple packs of smokes. And when I went in there, I almost had a heart attack because, of course, all the ones I I have, especially the toonies, are they're they're all pristine. You know, they're they're either proofs or specimens. They're 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 nice, the nicest ones I can get. Well, after she spent the money for the cigarettes, uh, it cost me about $300 <laughs> to replace the ones I had. And I took her into the local coin store, and I, I brought uh, four silver dollars with me and face value. And I, I, I said, so, Tracy, how much how much are these coins worth? And she told me, oh, it's $4. So I sat them in front of Jack. I said, Jack, uh, what do you what, what will you give me for these coins? And I walked away with about $120. And she's like shaking her head, going, I can't believe that happened. I says, That's right. You've got to understand the difference between face value and numismatic value when it comes to these coins. So since then, she's of course she she respects, you know, everything. She needs cigarettes. She doesn't come in here. <laughs> you know. I also remind her that if she quit smoking, I'd, I'd be able to buy myself about 10 ounces of silver every month. <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> I'm thinking the new wife is much better with this than the previous. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my, 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 my wife has actually started to really enjoy coin collecting, but uh, 
I got to watch her whenever I get silver in because if it's really pretty and shiny, it's gone. Like my sword and stone, I haven't seen it since the first day it arrived. I remember that. Yeah, well, I'll you should. You, 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 you made it. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. So no, I, I got a you. picture. I got a picture on my phone. It's the only way I can look. It's up in her room, <laughs> stashed away in her hoard. In her hoard. <laughs> can you see the battle chat game behind me there? It, yeah, I can see the pile. Yeah, yeah. That's all ready to go for Tuesday, that is. <laughs> you, you wish you start, you know you know uh jason if you were to start adding up everything that that we spent and i was just as bad i smoke i used to smoke three packs of export green a day Jeez. a day and uh but but that was 30 years ago so i i saved my you know of course i gained 100 pounds after i quit but the thing is i quit and uh, I feel much better, and I enjoy the fact that I can taste food again and breathe, or I wouldn't be here. But you look at the money that you burn away, and I mean, holy mackerel. If your carton of cigarettes in Alberta here is over $150 a carton, and if you're smoking a carton of cigarettes a week, uh, that's a lot of silver. A lot of silver. What's that? I've got to be about, about two or three ounces at least. Two or three ounces? <laughs> hundred well yeah oh yeah 150 that would be about three no a little yeah about three ounces a little bit more yeah give them take yeah so that's that's quite a bit a month you know that and that's, that's what i'm doing now now that i i look at well what would i have spent if i were still smoking and i try to set that aside to uh go in a silver stack not in not into my coin collection because that's more expensive now tell them how stack. much of the price that you pay on smokes is syntax in order to make you feel exactly how you feel well most of it most of it most, most of it, of it. Yeah. 90 80 percent at least of that price is tax yep yep absolutely to motivate so, the person uh, to quit yeah, we get a back order. <laughs> but that's all right, you know. It's it's it, if you can find something that's more beneficial for you, i.e., collecting or or buying books or going on nice holidays or savings or investing or whatever, yeah. you could do a lot better than just puffing it. What they say is, uh, first off, smokers will not quit unless they're ready. Second off, you you it's almost impossible to quit smoking uh, because it's a habit. You have to replace a habit with another habit. So that's the only way you're going to do it. So uh, that's why so many people gain weight when they quit smoking, because they've replaced it with food and drink and whatnot. Uh, and stay away from triggers like like alcohol. Uh, alcohol was one of my big drink of beer. I had to have a cigarette or a coffee. So for the longest while, I couldn't drink coffee. I've gone from three or four pots of coffee a day to a cup a week. You, you know, reminded me to difference. have some coffee. Yeah. Well, I enjoy my one cup a week at least. But, uh, you know, it's it's lifestyle change, and you and you won't quit unless you're ready to quit. That's that's yeah. just plain and simple. You know, so don't don't even bother trying to, you know, you can try to force them, but it won't work. I put on a pot of coffee in the morning, and I drink that throughout the day. By the time eight hours is done, I've definitely gone through a pot of coffee for sure. Oh, it'd be wicked coffee. The more you try and force them, the more they're going to do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know. Yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty well a good reason to quit, Jason. To make you. I, 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 quit, I quit smoking because my doctor went up to me and he goes, you have got no more than two years left if you don't quit because i had black lung and and of course i've been dealing with cancer ever since then but if i hadn't quit i wouldn't be here i'm that's glad you did that's simple yeah really i mean i've i never smoked taken drugs i did drink but not like i i got absolutely 
wrecked. My my friend used to own a, like a, a proper bar, <laughs> uh, a big pub, and uh, I absolutely got wrecked from Thursday to Sunday, and I've never been <laughs> <done it> since. <laughs> I mean, it was on the it was on the verge of actually like alcoholic poisoning, and uh, so yeah, it was like never yeah, again. Mm-hmm. Hard lesson learned that way. Yeah, you haven't <laughs> done that in a long time. Um, it was course of my illness as well. It didn't help, but it was it was like oh my god, never. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. It was the worst feeling, like for about a week. Mm-hmm. Um, just, I mean, I don't think I ever finished actually. I, I think I got rid of my line and my stuff. <laughs> it was really, really bad. And I said, no, nope, never going to drink again. That's it. And I stopped yeah. it that night, that day, never been back since. Um, I, 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 I'll tell you, there's twice a year I drink. And that's typically uh, two times during the summer, barbecues. And I'll pull out either a Sleeman's Honey Brown, which I love, or or a, 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 a stout, a nice cold stout, with my steak dinner. But that's only twice yeah. a year. See, that's 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 really good from you know, um, from being one way and going straight to an extreme to another. Um, you know what I mean? So. Uh, it's like I, when I would go clubbing, my friends would go, why are you drinking like something like orange juice or pineapple juice? And I said, once you've had alcoholic poisoning and, you're, you know, your own rib cage wants to come out of your own body, mm. then you understand. <laughs> I mean, so it was like, and I said, I never, I, I don't care. I just don't want to know. So because I can have fun without it. So, um <laughs> So yeah, it's just like, well, boys. Speaking of fun and alcohol and all those wonderful things, I'll be out at the uh, running the karaoke tonight from 9 p.m. till 1 a.m. our time. So I'm gonna leave you guys and go rest up a little bit before it's time to drive into downtown Vancouver, which takes me in um, 40 minutes to drive into. Then the show I do, and then a 40 minute drive out at two in the morning. I will be streaming live, maybe my drive-in, but almost always my drive-out just for fun. So we'll see who's up and about at that time. Meanwhile, (laughs) you guys take care, and we will see you soon. Yeah, thanks for coming up, Nick. And, yeah, I do enjoy watching your karaoke sessions and whatnot. I get a kick out of them. I don't think I'm going to stream it out this time because I still haven't figured out how to do a good job of that. I don't really feel like doing a crappy job. And I don't have the time or energy today to make it better. So it's just going to be not streamed, but uh, it'll stream on another day. As soon as I get home, by the way, those streams. You don't don't want to do a crappy stream? You've never been into one of mine? (laughs) Oh, no, the sound sounds horrible, Dale. I've I've put a hard line between the uh, soundboard and the uh, phone. I have a reducer that reduces the signal down to the phone's level, and still it comes out like you're, you're underwater. And I don't like that at all. And it's not worth it for me to do if that's the way it's going to sound till I figure out, you know, how to make it better, which I do have an idea. It just, it's, in, it's, it's complicated. So I just don't have the energy yet to do that. But one day yeah. I have to 20, bring a second 20, computer. 1915 to 1920 will be. Ooh, in fact, uh, yeah. Yeah. 1915 Ooh. to 1920 will be the next coins we talk about. And, nice uh, to see you, Darren. Yeah, and that'll be uh, where are we on third? We're on Wednesday, right? Monday, Wednesday. Yeah, next next Monday. And so, I'm stream- I- I'll be streaming back tomorrow. And uh, I know you will. I'll be with you. <laughs> oh, cool! I love it, man. This is the band yeah, is so funny. It is. It is a lot of fun. So I'm um, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut my stream short. And I'm I'm gonna invite anybody that's left here and invite you to go over to Tupac and. Uh, do a raid on them. They, they, he's an awesome guy. So uh, yeah, I like Tupac. Yeah, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna obviously go and say hello, and then I'm gonna go around and catch up with because um, I was watching um, Sandman coins and collectibles before I come up. So I'm gonna watch, finish off watching his channel and a few other people. Um, 
and uh, need to catch up on a few other people. So I, I, I love watching his because he goes on holidays and he has he, it's like Christmas when he comes back. <laughs> I couldn't believe how much stuff was sitting there. I, I saw a Discord. I thought, oh, Willow, I've started. And I thought, oh, you better come on to your, because it went really quick. I thought, it must be about what, four minutes in, I think. And I come on, I thought, oh. Because I, I didn't realize what the time was, because I haven't done, because I, I started putting up videos and I just got sidetracked with on Discord earlier. So <laughs> still trying to figure that thing out, man. It's unbelievable. You'll get there, just like just like me trying to figure out StreamYard. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, thanks well, for everybody maybe. coming out. BC uh, Treasures and, of course, Evil Arts Conservatives and and uh, everybody else. Uh, Sandman Coins and Collectibles and Cody and BC All Things Treasures Andrew Treasures. and Look Big Country. Thank you for joining. Great Thank people. you for letting me come up today, my, my friend. Oh, anytime, I'll be up again on Monday. anytime. I, I love it. I'll be up again Monday. And uh, oh. I'm going to do this a regular thing with you, if you don't mind. No problem. And, uh, Just so make sure you get back to sleep, all right? Don't, don't, don't sit nah, there. Don't, I can't sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just post you the battle chat and all that. <laughs> all right, bro. Take but care. We'll see you later, Jason. Bye -bye. You take care, everybody. Have a good night. Good night, sir.